some of the top teams, and it's kind of a clash of two, you know, really good conferences. So can you elaborate? Can you say that one more time? Well, like, you know, you've had some good games against Clemson. You opened with Florida State this year. Do you think just because of the competitiveness you guys have had with those teams and you win some, you lose some, that it's kind of a good rivalry brewing between the two leagues? Uh, I mean, you know, anytime, anytime you get a uh, play a good team, it's a great opportunity to showcase what you can do no matter what league they're in. So you can't, you can't take away from the Big Ten or from anybody, any other conference because they're full of good teams too. Like it's not just ACC, the SEC, it's about everybody there. Everybody poses a threat to knock you off the top of the mountain. Have I said that he blamed the loss a little bit on small things that built up over the season, of course, the season went right here. I mean, did you see some of those things yourself? Things that people showing up late to meetings or not wearing the right socks. I mean, did you see that? Did you agree with his assessment? Yeah, I, I definitely agree a little bit. Um, you know, it's like I said, it's all about the little things. The little things that were from scoring a touchdown or keeping a field goal. Like it's, it's it's part of the process. You have to you have to do everything correctly, regardless if you don't want to. Or not. So how do you make sure that that you guys actually do that this season? Don't miss the little things. Uh, we have to stay strong in our leadership. That's part of it. It's, um, our leadership can't waver. We have to stay the course. Brett, how do you develop uh, as a unit the offensive line? Because that's one one unit you have to stay together. I mean, it's like a, a chorus line. I mean, one person's off, it causes an issue. Right. We're, we'll have just have chemistry. Um, and that, that's a big part of offensive line. Like our whole uh, our whole room is. Full of great guys and great competitors. Um, actually, we're all going up to my lake house this weekend. We're going to hang out and you know, uh, just stay the night there and just kind of have a fellowship there and you know, chill. So it's, it's all about chemistry. You know, so um, much, how much food do you need for that? But all linemen going to the lake house for the weekend, how much food do you need to get them done? A lot of food. <laughs> I haven't quite, we haven't gone grocery shopping yet, but. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that knocked out pretty soon. You know, some Alabama fans, even a small portion, might say that Tennessee's the bigger rival than Auburn. What's your take on that? What do you believe when it comes to those two rivalry games? I mean, they're they're both big games. Like they're every game's a good game. It's regardless if it's you know a small team, big team, it doesn't matter. Like it's, do rivalries matter to players in the locker room? So it seems like everybody I talk to, all your teammates here, they're like, you guys just don't talk about the Iron Bowl or Tennessee all that much about it being a bigger game in the locker room. Not really. We, I mean, it's, it's about being one and up. That's what our whole center is about. It's not worrying about the, the last game, the next game. It's about worrying the game that you're on. You can only control right now. So do you think it's just more of a thing from the outside, from the fan perspective? It, it, it's huge from a fan perspective. Like, I grew up as a fan. Uh, of Alabama, so, you know, I thought it was you know, this huge thing. Like it's a, I'd say it's more of a, it's a pride thing from the state you're from. So someone's from California, it's about playing at uh, USC, you know, so on and so forth. A lot of the players from Alabama and Auburn, even after the game last year, posing for photographs together and all that. Do you guys know each other? Do you guys even talk throughout the season? Yeah, for sure. You know, we, you know, the guys usually stay in contact pretty good. Who do you talk to from there? Uh, Austin Golson, man. Yeah. Yeah. We stay in contact pretty good. Being uh, being one of the older players on the team, especially the offense this year, how have you taken on more of like a leadership role and taken on more responsibilities this year? Uh, you know, we just have to push our group. Like that's you, know, you have to become more vocal whenever you feel uncomfortable. You have to make yourself feel comfortable in it. Um, just just pushing your guys. You know, being fair, being. Do what's right. Okay. Bradley, how, how old were you for the last time LSU beat Alabama? 2011. 2011, I was. The game of the century. Yeah. It was 16, 17. Is it kind of shocking to think that the streak is going on as long as it has between such you know, talent rich programs? Um, you know, like I always say, it's, it's about when we don't really talk about the past uh, when it comes to that. You know, it's about that game. Like, it doesn't matter what, how many times we beat someone in the past, I can still beat you the next game. It's, it's about that moment. What, what do you expect 